Hi guys, so guess what time it is? It is time for my monthly favorites and not so favorites and it is the month of December. It is, well, so when y'all see this, it is 2014. It is January 2014. Where did the time go? Really, where did it go? It just, it went somewhere and I don't know where it went. Okay, so I don't want to you know yak 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 too long but I do have a lot of stuff here I want to show y'all and most of its makeup to be you know straightforward with you guys I've gotten a lot of stuff recently that's makeup and I'm trying to wear it a little more than what I normally do as you can tell full face going on here mm, full face so I'm going to show y'all what I've enjoyed this month or what so far I've enjoyed which I don't really have anything bad to say about yet because I haven't really used it that long but you know I like it all the same and there's a few things that I don't like or not impressed with yet so let's get moving right along let's go on to my favorites of this month all right so I'm not doing a Christmas haul if some of y'all have noticed I didn't do a Christmas haul or, or a boxing day haul or whatever you want to call it because I'm not someone that's going to brag about what they got so if I did get it for Christmas I will you know indicate it somewhere like down in the drop box or something or another so you'll you'll probably hear about it at one point I, I'm, I don't I have a loss for words here yeah all right so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I got a little bit ago it was not for Christmas it wasn't for Christmas but I got them on sale and I'm not going to talk that much about these products because I might review them in another video if y'all want that comment down below and tell me if you want a longer review on some of these things and specifically tell me what you want more review you know like a longer review on okay or in-depth review or, or or you know what i'm talking about i'm sure so yeah all right so it is the nyc lipsticks i got these for 75 percent off back when they had their 75% off for sale or whatever at CVS. I got 405 Blue Rose and I got 410 Plum Rum. Now it's not as, it's not as scary as you think it is. It's like a chocolate brown. It's a real deep chocolate brown. You take it out so y'all can really see it. It's not as scary as you think it is. So it really isn't. But I do like it. It does last a long time. And then the blue rose one is so pretty. It's like a real hot pink with like iridescent blue in it, but they're really good. The formula's great, the wearing's great, and so on and so forth. So definitely like those right now. Something I've talked about a little bit, which some of y'all, I don't know if I did this in another favorites video, which I might have, which I don't remember, but the NYX blush that I purchased recently, the one that's called Mauve, it is like my go-to blush right now. I mean, I'm not even kidding. I wear it literally every day, even if I'm wearing nothing on my eyes. So it is like the prettiest or subtle color you could possibly put on your face. So I absolutely love this. It is definitely getting its use, you know, so yeah. Let's see, something else I got. All right, this I got in my Ipsy bag. Now y'all know I absolutely loved my Ipsy this month. So Ipsy is definitely a favorites for this month and I'm hoping that I can include it in all of my favorites videos from now until I end the subscription, which I hope I never do. You know, I got this in my Ipsy. I kind of like it, but then I kind of don't. But it's the Be A Bombshell, the all-in-one stick. I got it in the color Sunset. It's a really good color, but I've been using it for like a blush, like a cream blush or whatever. So what I do is I swipe my um, brush, whatever, uh, my blush brush on the end of this and I just swirl it around a little bit and then I put it on. I have not used this for my eyes yet, which I'm just kind of scared to because it's like cream based. So I'm probably not doing that and I have not tried this yet on my lips to see how well that that works. The only thing I will say is that it's kind of oily, like really oily. So if you put this on and you have like oily skin, you will have like the most worst shininess going on right here, but it's a pretty color. 
it's you know it probably works for some people but for me not really but I'm definitely using it I'm trying to use it trying to make it work so that's what's going on with this um let's see something else I got this recently I don't know if I did this in a favorites video but oh my gosh I can't remember but it's the elf blush in tickled pink it is like the perfect pink color for like a highlight because it has like a hint of glitter in it or a little bit of sparkle. I mean, you can't really see it in the pan, but it is definitely <laughs> there. So it's very subtle. So you can put like on your cheekbones at the top. It gives you like just a hint of a pop of sparkle on your cheekbones if you don't want to put a highlighter on. So yeah. Uh, the next thing, let's stick, let's stick with e.l.f. Um, I got the eyebrow kit, and I am wearing it right now, it, which I'm sure y'all can tell. I got the caterpillars going on up here, the, the caterpillars. Yes, my, my lovely caterpillars. Yeah, so. This is a cute little kit. It is in medium. I wish I would have gotten the light one, but this one works nonetheless. But be very, very careful with these because you don't have to fill in your whole eyebrow. You can just fill in the spots that are bare and it will be perfect. And if you can't fill it in completely with the gel, the powder does it, you know, it, it'll fill it in. So don't worry, it'll get filled in. But I'm definitely enjoying this. Alright, let's see something else I did not get for Christmas. Ugh, I think most of it's most that's left I think I got for Christmas. Okay, so I got this for Christmas. It is an eyeshadow trio by Wet n Wild. And I got this from my friend Felicia. And oh my gosh, I literally told her that I have not found anything from Wet n Wild that I absolutely love. But oh my gosh, she 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 proved me wrong. I I really I'm digging this palette, and it's called Walking on Eggshells, and it's like your neutral colors. It they're so pretty and they're pigmented. And oh my, I can't get it open now. <laughs> I can't get it open, but it is so pretty. And if you go by the uh, uh, lid, crease, brow bone, it's not that bad. It actually works. So just saying. Yeah. So I'm really liking this trio. So thank you, Felicia. I really like it. And yeah. So you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong. So I'm definitely gonna probably try out some more of their neutral palettes because I actually like it. So yeah. All right. Let's see what else. I'll stick with what Felicia got me for Christmas. She got me the Urban Decay Pencil. This is like a love-hate relationship right here. I'm not even kidding because I like had high expectations with this pencil. And she told me that she'd go to bed with it on. And oh my gosh, it's like the miracle pencil out there. But I don't know. <laughs> with me, it slides so much. And like within an hour, it's already in the corners of my eyes and it basically disappears. The only place it stays is like on my upper waterline. My lower waterline, it's gone. Like literally gone. So I don't know what to say about this yet. I'm still trying it out. I mean, like I said, I got it for Christmas, so it hasn't been very long, but I've used both the black end, which is called Zero, and the brown end that's called Whiskey. So I'll probably keep y'all updated on how this goes, but so far it's kind of like, eh, you know, it's on that line. So, all right. Next thing that I got from Felicia, she hooked me up. She she hooked me up this Christmas. She got me the NYX Butter Lip Balms. They're so cute. I've never tried these. She got me two of them. They are in uh, Lady Fingers, Lady Fingers, and Brownie, and Brownie. These things, oh my gosh, they are so pigmented. I mean, you wouldn't think there'd be that much color with a lip balm that's basically a chapstick. So, it's like, okay, nye, 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 oh shoot, there, you have to actually work with it because it is so pigmented, you can actually tell you're putting something on your face. So, be very careful with these. They're definitely moisturizing, so I do like them. Um, I've never had anything that was the butter, anything from NYX, so when you smell these bad boys, mmm. It just makes you want to eat them, the stick. Yeah, okay, enough weirdness for today. Um, 
Alright, the next thing that I got, let's see, I got these from Christmas also. I got a lot of stuff that was makeup from Christmas, but I got the NYX Butter Glosses. Holy shit. Um, I got, my mom got me the, the set, and the little box set that you get at Ulta. It's, uh, apple strudel, meringue, and creme brulee, and God, these things are so pigmented. This pink, mmm, definitely pink. The only ones that I really, really, really like is the nude color and the coral color. This bad boy is like, put it in the back of the drawer and pull it out like at holidays or events or something, because, or a date or something, because, oh my God, mm, too pink for me. But I've definitely worn it. These things are so glossy. The only bad thing I will say is that when you put it on, you have to be very careful because it'll like collect at the end of the applicator and it'll put like real thick lines on and you have to just work with it. And if you put on too much, you'll have like this, you know, like the, the stickiness where when you, it like sticks your lips together and is like real smacking sound. So when you talk into a p -p -p, you know, or you know, you, m -m 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 you actually hear it clicking, you know, the, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, well, it may just be me because I, a lot. So yeah. Okay. So I definitely do enjoy these right now. So more updates later on, I'm sure. Mm. Okay. So the, okay, this stuff, this stuff right here. My mom got me two of the benefit gift box things. She got me the Sizzling Six and the, oh, something else. I can't remember the name of it, but there were the bo both of the benefit sets that you got at Ulta, which I'm sure you could get it at like Sephora or online, but she got them at Ulta and oh my gosh. Um, So y'all know I have been using the a Bad Gal Lash because she let me have this early, but eh, I like it, but since it's gotten kind of old, it, I don't know, it's like clumping. I don't know, and it's getting like really dry and hard to get it on my lashes. I mean, once you, you know, work it on there and then you go back through and get the clumps out, it looks great because I'm wearing it right now. But I don't know, it was so, 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 so good for like the first month, but now since it's like two months old, I think, it's gotten real difficult to use. And I'm happy it's the travel size because I would hate to see what the full size does when it gets dry. Mm, I wouldn't want to see that. So yeah, I do like this, but it's not being my best friend right now. Yeah, so I will probably keep y'all posted on this depending on, you know, how long it lasts or how well it, you know, goes. I don't know. If I don't feature this in a favorite, y'all know what happened. So yeah. All right, another benefit thing. Oh my gosh, the professional. Oh my God. Um, I've heard good and bad things about this, but from me, it all good. Uh, it's all good here on this end. This stuff is like a miracle on my face. I mean, I have like the humon like like humongous pores and like blackheads and and like do not get close to my face. It's like disgusting. It's a minefield. I will say it. It's like my T zone, my nose, my cheeks, and my chin are like a disaster zone. And I've been using this for like the last, since Christmas. I like literally use this first out of all of it. And I have been wearing this literally every day since then. I will probably buy a full size of this stuff, but oh my gosh. I'm happy I have it, but I don't see why people have so like negative things about this. I mean, I really like it. You can see the difference on me, so I don't know. I definitely like it and I'm happy I have two travel sizes so I can keep using it and yeah, so another thing from Benefit, high beam. <laughs> oh my gosh. I use this on my brow bone, like under my brow and Oh my gosh, like I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if y'all can see it or you know if y'all can see it going on up there, but I literally just use two dabs, like two itty bitty dabs. And then I go through with my finger, unless I like did my eyebrows and then I go through with like a brush. But oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. 
it's like crazy amazingly good. Definitely recommend this and I might, depending on how much it is, get the full size of this because mm, 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 it's, it, yeah. Okay, next benefit thingy that was in the sets is called What's Up? I just, I just had to do that. <laughs> It's like in the cutest packaging. Oh my gosh. But it's like a it says it's a highlighter, but I've been using it like like my brow bone and stuff, which I've since I've done high beam, I've basically retired this from that. But I use it on my Cupid's bow and like middle of my nose, just like very lightly. But it is in the cutest like packaging. I like look at that. And this is the sample size. It's like a lot of product here and it's like in a lipstick container it is so cute I mean I'm not even kidding the packaging got me on this cause it's like a mini lipstick but it is so cute um I don't really have a lot to say about it but it's definitely worth trying so just saying <sighs> more benefit oh my gosh so I got sets as y'all know and one set came with dandelion and the other set came with hula, hula. So one's a blush and one's a bronzer. The blush is here and the bronzer's there. But oh my gosh, they are so party. It's not even funny. I was, I don't even want to use them. They're so pretty. But Dandelion is like this real soft pink. And I haven't really used it that much because there's like glitter in it. But you can use it like on your cheekbones and it gives it that like little bit of sparkle. But I've been using the Hula, the, the Hula, which is like a bronzer. But I've used it for contouring and along my jawline, my temples, and on the sides of my nose just recently. I haven't really done it that much, but it's there. Because <laughs> you can't really tell because my glasses, but. I've definitely been using it and nothing bad to say about them yet. I mean, you can't really say nothing bad about blushes or bronzers, just that it's like either too intense or not intense enough. I don't know. I don't have nothing to say bad about them. Nothing bad. No bad vibes here. All right. So the last favorite, oh my gosh, I'm on the last one for the favorites. I bought this. It's not Christmas, not a Christmas purchase or, or get, well, not, no. It wasn't given to me for Christmas, but it was like an after Christmas purchase. There we go. I said it right. But it's the Little Black Beauty Book Day Edition by e.l.f. And oh my gosh. I saw someone talk about this and they were like, it is a serious dupe for um, the Naked Palette. Which, I mean, I can't afford the Naked Palette, any of them, I mean, $52 for eyeshadow, mm, I can't afford that. So when I heard this was a dupe for it, I was like, I gotta try it. I mean, I'll give e.l.f. eyeshadows a second chance, you know, I'm not gonna, cause I couldn't, you, this thing was like $10 and you got like a mascara, a liquid liner, and an eye pencil. And, um... I got it for half off because it was an after Christmas thing. So I got it for five bucks. And then including the mascara, liquid liner, and pencil, it was like a dollar and a quarter for this. So I'm, I wasn't complaining about it. But oh my gosh, these colors are so pretty. They're like the neutral colors. You have like your purpley colors that are from like the Naked 3. And then you have like the colors that are from like the Naked 1 and Naked 2 over here. But oh my gosh, they are so pigmented. I'm actually wearing these shadows right now. I just don't know if y'all can see it. But um, they're like so, so good. I mean, I'm... I'm sold on it and I hate that it was only a, it was a Christmas thing because I or else I would have bought more than one but I'm so happy I at least have this one to hold me over until maybe next year but definitely something you should have picked up mm-hmm y'all y'all should have picked it up when y'all could because I know I did and I definitely don't regret it mm -mm, not one bit all right everyone breathe with me breathe On to the not-so-favorites! Yeah, I just had to. Yeah. 
So, on to the not so favorites of December. I don't really have a whole, whole lot, but there's a few. There's a few. Alright, so the first thing as a not so favorite is the Stilla pencils that I bought. Mmm. These, these things, I don't remember how much I paid for them. It was either $12 or $15 for the little metal tin set thing. But it says smudge stick waterproof eyeliner. And these are the only ones I've really used so far. And it's the uh, black one, Stingray. And the brown one, which, which is called Lionfish. These are the only ones that I've used so far. And definitely not something you want to put on your waterline. I'm actually wearing the black one on my waterline right now, and I will tell you, it basically just collects, you know, the corners and your lash line, so it basically disappears off your waterline. Yeah, I said it. So for it being waterproof, I don't think it really is, but unless you use it, you know, like, other than your waterline, I'm sure it'll work fine, but... Me personally, I don't like it for the waterline. It's a great eyeliner for the price, so I got to use it by not spending that much money, but it's not a favorite, so yeah. But if it changes between now and whenever, I'll let you know, so yeah. All right, and the next thing I have not liked. <laughs> this one I have, I don't think I've talked about it except when I bought it, like purchased it, but it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Sin. Oh my gosh, I've used this once, like literally just once. It is so difficult to use. I'm not even kidding. Like you, you put the primer on your finger and you like you, you put the primer on and it like does not move. And it, it has like the, the glitter, you know, the color. So it's real hard to manage it. So I'm not really using this that much. It's just sort of in my makeup collection. Um, it's definitely taking up space and I'm definitely not using it because I'm so afraid that it's going to mess up because the one time I used it, it messed up. But if you know, seriously, if you know of any possible way for this to work, let me know, please, down in the comments. Tell me what I'm doing wrong because... I like to know these things so I can work on it, you know, and get better at my application processes. So yeah, yeah, that's that's not a favorite for now. So yeah. Um, the next thing that's not a real, real favorite is the Pop Beauty eyeshadow that I got from my Ipsy bag, my December Ipsy bag. Eh. Okay, so it's like 75% of it I like. The other 25% is basically the black eyeshadow that's in here. That, it, it, no. Like, just depot it and use just the white one and the silvery gray one. Just don't even touch the black one. The black one is, like, so hard to manage. It's so unblendable. And you have to, like, sit there and work with it, work with it, work with it, work with it. And it still looks like crap, so. But the other colors are, like, perfect. They're, like, creamy. They're not chalky. There's no fallout. It's it's just the black. The, the black shade that's in here. It's like, oh, my gosh. Just, yeah, you know. So, it's, like, 75-25 on this, so. Yeah, you, you review it yourself, I'm sure, but yeah. Um, the other thing that I'm not enjoying this month, which I got at Christmas, like after Christmas, and I've been using it, and I do not like it, is the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. I did get this in a Christmas set, so I did not pay full price for this, but this stuff lasts six hours before it starts creasing maybe five hours because it six hours is like the point where it's like noticeable like really noticeable creasing and so mm. when i have an eyeshadow like a primer like this and i actually work on my eyes i don't want it going nowhere i want it to stay put you know so definitely not something i'd wear for prolonged wear maybe just like a night look or something or a day I wouldn't put in the, on in the morning and, and expect it to be there by the time you you know late at night so mm, definitely not something I'd recommend and I don't know if they have the hard candy eyeshadow primers like this in 
the full size in their line, but this is the one that was in the set that I got here at Christmas. So yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I'm not, I don't want to say that I don't like it because I did get it as a gift, but eh, I have to at least talk about it, right? It's the Revlon Perfume Nail Polish. It's Scented Nail Enamel. I have it on my nails right now. It's on here, but the only thing I don't, well, there's two things I don't like about it. One, the handle. This, this thing up here, I hate it so, 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 so much. When you paint with your left hand for your right hand, it is so awkward to hold it. I, 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 I just can't paint like with the handle like that. Usually my left hand, I'm ambidextrous. I can do it. I can paint my other hand with it. But when I'm holding this, mm -mm, it, looks, it looks like a disaster zone after I'm done, so. Mm. And the other thing I don't like about it is the smell. The smell is great, but I will tell you after a good 12 to 24 hours, the smell is gone. Like literally gone. And it only takes like one to two coats for this and it dries very quickly. So it's not bad. It, it really isn't bad. So yeah, I don't hate it completely, but I'm not like, you know, goo goo eyes over it either. So only some, I, I wouldn't say like spend your money on it. Go hunt it down. Like if you can't find it, don't hunt it down. Just let it go. Let, let it go. You know, bye. Just, you know, leave it on the shelf. But if you're looking to try it, you know, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's, oh, it's hard to explain. So it's like literally a not really that much of a favorite, but it's not horrible. So I forgot to mention Birchbox was an utter disappointment this month. I literally forgot about Birchbox. Oh my gosh. I guess because it wasn't that memorable this month that I forgot about it. But I like to mention that Birchbox was definitely not a favorite this month, but Ipsy was like the favorite of the month, so. But I think, is that it? Is that all of my favorites and not so favorites? Oh my gosh, I hit the end of it. Ah, okay, so I think that is it. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below, let me know down there somewhere. All of this stuff I will probably list in the description box, you know, and links. Oh my gosh, the links. I will provide links if I can find them because some of the stuff I purchase I can't find links for. I don't know why. I just can't. So yeah, that is everything. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and had a safe New Year's. All right, guys, I think that is it. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.